When a woman asks you to hold her, she doesn't want to go to bed, she wants affection. Now, if you hold her long enough, you just may get rewarded. A lot of women get sex over with quickly because no affection was involved. They feel as if their husbands have used them like a piece of meat. I say to you men, may that never be so among us. Men, pay attention, affection and sex are not the same. If you're not sure how to be affectionate, ask your wife. You'll be amazed by her responses. Man, do you know that just pushing the shopping cart patiently in the grocery store is a sign of affection? Helping her cook is being affectionate. Tell her, honey, I'll cut up the onions. Let my eyes be the ones that sting. That's affection. Sometimes, the only way you can love your spouse, even when he or she seems like the enemy, is by choosing to do so. We are to follow Christ's example of love. While we were yet sinners, he died for us. He looked beyond our fault and saw our need. True love is not the kind of love you talk about. It's the kind of love you get to be about. Love responds, it does not react. When you react, you blurt out things without thinking. By that time, you've said something hurtful and wounded a spirit, usually the one belonging to the person you love the most. Take a deep breath and count to ten. Whenever your love is based on a specific reason, then the foundation of your relationship rests upon a condition. Read the fine print, terms and conditions are subject to change. Your spouse's face, weight, body, attitude, and emotions are all going to change. Yet, when you love your spouse with agape love, God's kind of love, your love remains the same. Conditions change, but true love is unconditional. When the fellowship is endangered, you jeopardize your marriage. True love expects nothing in return. Don't expect one person to do all the cooking, washing, or cleaning. If you don't expect your spouse to do those things, then when he or she doesn't do them, how can you be disappointed? When your spouse chooses to bless you by doing something unexpected, you'll be more inclined to be thankful and appreciative. A role within a marriage should be a temporary responsibility based on the ability of the one who is able to respond to the need at that given moment. Responsibility is determined by availability and capability. If you see water on the floor, don't just stand there and think, well, that's my wife's job. She does the mopping. No, you saw it, so you respond. If you have the ability to respond, then it's your responsibility. When things become more important than God and more important than your spouse, the result will always be problems within your home. We know that sex is a temporary action and is subject to constant change. Since it is always changing, you can't trust it. If you can't put your trust in it, you know you're in trouble when you try to build your relationship upon it. Sex does not produce commitment. If you don't believe me, ask a prostitute. Sex is a result of commitment in marriage. If your sexual relationship alone doesn't make your marriage, then it can't break it either. When you say something to your spouse, you have to remember that your spouse may hear his or her interpretation of what you said based upon his or her personal history, and this may be quite different from what you actually meant. Let your fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of your youth. Proverbs 5 verse 18 This verse is not saying to enjoy your wife when she is young and then go looking for somebody else. Your wife is supposed to be even better and sweeter to you as you both get older. Grow old gracefully together. As a loving deer and a graceful doe, let her breast satisfy you at all times, and always be enraptured with her love. Proverbs 5 verse 19 Your wife's breasts should satisfy you for how long? At all times. That means that at no time should anyone else's breasts satisfy you. Men, in order to learn how to love your wives, 
You first have to find out how Christ loved his church by studying his ultimate manual on love, the Bible. God does not compare your marriage to that of your brother, sister, parents, or friends. He compares your marriage to Christ and his church. That is the standard. Husbands, the highest witness for Christ that you can give is loving your wife as he loved the church. We need real men in our communities, men of the word who know what true love is. Your wife wants to hear, I love you. You're beautiful. You're so precious to me. Your husband doesn't need to hear anything. Just rub his head and touch his neck when he's driving, and he's in heaven. So, talk to your wife, or give your husband physical affection. She who is married cares how she may please her husband. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 34 Wives, you don't need to wait for your husband to initiate sexual relations. Your wife didn't forfeit her dreams and aspirations when she married you. She has basic needs and desires to feel successful and personally satisfied in her life, just as you do. Find out what her dreams are and be supportive of her goals. You must accept the fact that the person you married is not exactly like you. Yet when the differences between your spouse and yourself press together, they will form the precious gem your marriage was always meant to be. Man, at the end of each day, go to God and say, I present my wife to you. How did I do today in removing the spots and wrinkles? What could I do better? That's your job and priority as a husband every day of your life. Your wedding ring represents to the whole world that no matter where you go by yourself, you belong to and are committed to another and are not looking for anybody else. Never leave home without wearing it. There are things your husband can do that you cannot do, or there are things your wife can do that you cannot do. You should not try to compete with each other, but complete each other. Don't compete, complete. There are some things in life no one can afford, and having your prayers hindered is one of them. Be kind, caring, compassionate, sensitive, and attentive to your wife's needs. God is more important than your wife, yet he made having your prayers heard contingent on your relationship with her. Love your wife, protect your prayers. The male is the foundation of the human family. If the male leaves the home, or if he neglects his responsibility, you have a house built on sand. The rafters rock when the pressures come because the man isn't there. Many men need to live like the foundation they were created to be. Keep the home steady so your wife and children can always lean on you and know that you aren't going to crack. The foundation of a building is important, but it's not more important than the other parts of the structure. The foundation can't perform all the functions itself. For example, only the roof can keep you dry. It's the same way with the human family. The foundation is crucial, but the rest of the family is essential also. A selfish person wants all the glory, all the credit, all the recognition, all the attention, all the power, all the authority, all the rights, and all the privileges. But a person of love wants others to share what he has. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, Proverbs 12 verse 4. The crown of a king is his glory. Many people think that a good wife is just the queen to her king, her husband, but he is only a king because she is the crown of his glory. Your lips, O oh my spouse, drip as the honeycomb, honey and milk are under your tongue and the fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon, Song of Solomon 4 verse 11. Your wife hungers for the sweetness of your words. Speak your thoughts, she needs it. It is through worship and communion with God that a man receives his life's vision, vocation, and work. Some men have forgotten that worship takes precedence over work. When your work interferes with your worship, you cease to fulfill the purpose of a real man. 
Any man who would want to inhibit the progress of his spouse just to prove his superiority has an inferiority complex. A man who knows who he is doesn't need to prove himself. He understands that his wife has her own self-esteem, so he encourages her to develop her potential to the fullest. Wives, do you know how many men are where they are today because their helpmates made sure they got there? Whatever a man is not, his wife can help him become. The secret to staying in love is to keep finding things within your spouse to fall in love with over and over again. Always be enraptured with her love, Proverbs 5 verse 19. The responsibility for staying enraptured is not up to your spouse, although he or she has a big part to play. The responsibility is your own. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, Philippians 2 verse 5. If the husband and wife both have the same attitude as Christ Jesus, then their relationship is based on selfless giving, sacrifice, service, and forgiveness. When a husband and wife understand and value each other's purposes, they can have a rewarding relationship, and they can blend their unique designs harmoniously for God's glory. Thank you for watching our video! We hope that the content we shared has been informative, inspiring, and thought-provoking. Our goal is to provide valuable insights and practical knowledge that can positively impact your life. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay inspired, stay motivated, and keep pursuing your goals with passion and purpose.